check uh, window there as well. Is yeah, please go ahead. Say, are you able to hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, could yes, you please I take can. me to your uh, profile? Just to give me your brief uh, Okay, uh, I am uh, working in uh, London, UK, uh, with an insurance company uh, for the last 10 years. I am uh, I, work, I work in an account department with premium collection and uh, credit control, uh, some accounting duties as well, like general ledger posting and uh, uh, or pretty much like uh, reconciliation and that sort of bank reconciliation and that sort of thing. In addition to that, I've done uh, MSc in IT from here uh, in the University of East London. Uh, in UK. I am yes, uh, I'm about uh, 49 years old and uh, I've been in okay. UK for the last 15 20 years. So basically Thanks, I, recent, I have yeah. uh, recently been made redundant uh, after you know eight years of service. So basically uh, I'm trying to get a skill which uh, will give me you know, better opportunities to work uh, within either SAP or Oracle Financials. I have done uh, some training on Oracle Financials as well. When I was made redundant, basically government offered me, they asked me to, well they basically uh, arranged a training, Oracle Financial uh, for in, uh, implementers training. Okay. Uh, so, but, but uh, let me tell you the name. Essential for implementers, or it will well. Essential for implementers. One of my uh, basically brother, uh, relative in Pakistan, he is a SAP consultant. Okay. So he said that um, if you do this uh, training as well, and basically that will open up some more opportunities, not only in UK but as well as in Pakistan. So I think they are. In Pakistan, they are also implementing SAP uh, at the moment. So quite few organizations, basically, the government organizations or private sector, they are also, they have started using SAP, uh, FICU. Well, uh, SAP overall, uh, obviously, FICU is one of the modules, uh, one of the, uh, uh, one of the modules, you can say, or one of the uh, domain of uh, entity of SAP. So, yes. and because I've been working in account, so I think it's more appropriate to to do training on FA, FIC or, or the financial side rather than any other uh, any other model. Yeah, finance is the best one since we are into accounting, right? So more than one can work So finance is best for okay. and. Uh, um, I'll just introduce myself before starting my training. Please. Okay? Yes, please. Uh, I think that's more appropriate as well. Yeah. My name is Vanesh. I have overall 12 years experience okay. in IT, ITES, and BPO, BPO, as well as in core accounting. Okay. I have worked for various organizations. I started my career from, like, you know, as an accountant. Okay, okay. Later on, later on I moved to BPO and then I moved to KPO and then currently I'm into IT. Currently, currently? Current, currently I'm located in Chennai, TCS. Okay, I, I'm missing out some words. Uh, I'm sorry, but the voice is basically not clear. There's some background noise as well, so that's not, uh, it's not, not allowing me to, you know, yeah, listen to clear. I'll close it down, okay? Is it fine now? Uh, yeah, uh, it's, it's okay. Just to give me a second. It's completely gone now. Hello?
Not to get any difference now. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. It's fine. Is it fine now? Hmm. Yeah. No. Currently, I am in. I am located in Chennai and working for TCS. Okay. More than uh, six years into. Oh uh, yes, TCS. Okay. Okay. For your company. Yeah. Yes. No. I will just uh, go with the SAP FSCO demo. Okay. I will start with the FSCO demo. So can I just ask one question? Are you qualified accountant? No, I am not certified. Or what is it? You mean to say chartered accountant? By experience. I am not chartered. Okay. Yes, I am not chartered accountant, but I am MBA, MCOM right. is regular, MCOM or MBA. Okay, okay. Yes, That's fine. No problem. Educational qualification. Okay. Right, okay. Thank you. No. Shall we go ahead? Yes, please. No. Who we have been, maybe since you are in the accounting field, no, we might have heard about the ERP, Enterprise Resource Planning, right? Yeah. Under this segment, we have different kinds of software available. Okay, like SAP, Oracle. JDL. Uh, Ganesh, you know when you are typing, I can't see that uh, typing. Yeah, I did not share it. I'm sharing it. Okay. Oh, right, right. Okay. I can see now. No. Yes. In the ERP segment, we can see different kinds of software available in the market. Yeah. Some of them I'm naming it here. JDL Boards, PeopleSoft. Then these are the major softwares that will be used for uh, in, in case of uh, finance actually. Okay. Yeah. When, you, when you talk about the finance, this would be the major IRP softwares. Apart from tally, tally is also a major. Uh, it's also nowadays they call it as a tally IRP. Okay. Now I'll make the difference between SAP and Oracle. Before that, before that, I just wanted to talk about the few words about the SAP. SAP. Is a company. Is a company, and the software has been developed by the former IBM employees. SAP software has been developed by the former IBM employees in the year 1972, and the SAP location, I mean, base location is in Germany headquarters. Okay. SAP headquarters is in Germany. Germany. Okay. Now this is very small introduction. Okay. I am not going to touch upon uh, more about the SAP introduction. Once again, I repeat. SAP stands for Systems Applications. Systems Applications Products in Data Processing. This is what SAP stands for. Right. And the software is developed by the former IBM employees and they released it in the year of 1972. And the headquarters of SAP company is located in Germany. Okay, this is a, this is very brief introduction about the SAP. Okay. Now you can say Oracle, JD Edwards, PeopleSoft, BAN and ERP as a competitors or competitors. Competitors. You can say these are the competitors for SAP. Now, what is the difference between these softwares on SAP? Now, in SAP, it covers all the business functions. SAP covers, SAP covers all the business functions in one application. In one application, this is what it. This is what is the strength of SAP. Now, what I mean to say is. SAP is able to uh, what is it? SAP from SAP you can able to run your business transaction even from the production side, planning side, HR side, marketing side. It covers all the departments. It covers all the functions of the each department. Whereas if you take Oracle or any other software, whereas if you take Oracle or any other software, these softwares will majorly focusing on the finance function. If they want to go for any other functions in the process, then definitely they may need to go for the third 
party application. Then we need to go for the third party application. Say so are you able to follow me? Hello? Yes, I'm, I'm listening. Yeah. Now, that is only the difference. When you say the difference between SAP and other softwares, you can say that SAP covers all the okay, all the model, all the functions yes. of the uh, yes. yeah, okay. organization. All Whereas the other softwares, majorly focusing on the finance function, it is not covering, you can say in other words, other softwares okay. are not covering all models of an organization. Okay, they may need to go for the third party okay. application and they may they have to integrate that application into the into the regular database. Okay, that is what the difference. Right. Okay. Now we will talk about advantages of SAP. We can say real time data flow, real time data flow, high integration and security. Okay, real time data flow in the sense, if any purchases has been made by the purchase department, that, that information will automatically flow into the finance department, since finance department needs to make the payment to the vendor, right? So, yes. finance department right. is the authorized person to pay the payments under. So, that information has to come from the materials department. So, the data will be flowing online and there will be finance department will be able to make the payment. That is what the real time data flow. And if you say integration, integration is nothing but the linkage between the other models with SAP, other models with SAP. What are all the models will be having in case with SAP, uh, SAP FI, CBO, FI? When material purchases is happened, that information has to flow to the finance department. So FI, PMM will be there. When some sales has been made, that information has to flow into the finance department because finance department will receive the payment from the customer. So that also you will be saying the FI as integration. HR department will be making the Salaries, salaries and all right. So that information yeah. has to come to finance department. These are the three major areas where the integration is there. Apart from this, there are some other models are also there like project systems and all. Okay? Yeah. In other words, you can say that wherever FICO activities are related with some other uh, model, then definitely there will be integration. Yeah. Okay? No. If, we, if you ask me this advantages of SAP, maybe you can say time and cost. Maybe to make an accounting entry in SAP, maybe it will be taking one minute or two minutes or five minutes even sometimes. Whereas in tally and all, it is a fraction of seconds we can make the accounting entry, right? That is what the, I would say that, you know, the, I mean, from the other side, you can say the time and cost, okay? Okay, all right, okay. How time is a disadvantage? Yes, I would say this one. Time is nothing but, see, that's what I am telling, you know. See, if you, if you are posting an accounting entry in tally, it's a matter of second, right? Uh, uh, if you post in a ledger, I'm sorry, if you post as a, entry, let's say expense are received, it will be updating all the records and it will be posted in a minute, right? Whereas in SAP, there will be a lot of fields will be available, which will be helpful for you to generate different kinds of reports. So in order, when you when you try to fill that, uh, fill the fields now, maybe it will be consuming more time, right? Then uh, tally. In tally, you will be giving the only debit or credit and you will be giving the narration and amount, right? Okay. But in SAP, there will be little more fields will be available that will help you to run your business successfully with large data as well as the number of reports. Okay? okay? Now, apart from this, I'll, I just give you the one more word that is model is nothing but the departments. In SAP, we call them as a model, whereas in real time or in general business, it is a department. Correct? Now, there are around 
from 40 modules available in SAP, 40 modules available in SAP. I mentioned very few, FI, CU, PP production planning, MM materials management, ESD, sales and distribution, HR, human resource, PS, project systems, CS, customer service, like this, we have many other models, almost 40 models are there, okay? Now, will be, now we are coming to FICO part, we are coming to FICO part. Now, let me know if you have any doubts before I start with the FICO content. Hi sir, do you have any questions so far? Shall I go ahead with the FICO demo? No, no, please carry, no, no, please carry on, carry on with the demo. Yeah. Now, EFI stands for financials. Yeah. And the objective of FI implementation is to get the financial statements. Get the financial statements. Right. At the end of the implementation, you will be able to generate the financial statements, that is balance sheets and uh -huh. PNR. Okay. Now, in order to get the financial statements in FI, in FI financials, you have different sub-models. You have different sub-models. One is general ledger accounting, general ledger accounting, right. GL. Another one is accounts payable, accounts receivable, asset accounting. These are the sub-models of FI. These are the sub-models of FI. Now, SAP GL deals with the GL account and how you are going to post the accounting entries and will be considering here. You are going to see the creation of GLs and how you are going to use them for the day-to-day -day operations or day-to-day -day transactions posting, right? Yeah. And based on that only you are going to generate the based on that only you are going to generate the financial statements. Okay? Yeah. Now see since you are in the accounting field, I'm not going to give you the more details about all these basic terminologies. Okay, I'll talk about the AP. I'll talk about the AP. The AP is nothing but the accounts payable. Accounts payable. Accounts payable is a liability in nature, short term liability in nature. Okay. When you do purchases, when you do purchases on credit, then that will be treated as a accounts payable. Now here we are going to consider the we are going to check the procurative pay cycle, P2P cycle, procurative pay. Okay. Procurative pay cycle covers PO, purchase order, then you will receive the goods, goods receipt, GR, and then you will receive the invoice receipt, IR, and then payment. Okay? These are the activities involved in the procure to pay cycle, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Now, now, these are some of the activities are performed by the materials management and some of the activities are performed by the finance department. So, here we are going to see the FI EMM integration. Clear? Yeah. That's fine. Thank you. Now, if you want to, if you want to see the procurement to pay cycle, we have to integrate FI with EMM. Okay. That. Okay. That cycle we are going to see in the EFP. Okay. In the EFP. Now, coming to accounts receivable. Account receivable is a current asset in nature. Whenever you do the sale on credit, that will be treated as an account receivable. Here we are going to see the order to cash, what to see. This includes sale order, delivery, billing and incoming payment, that is customer payment. Okay, customer payment. Here we are going to see the sale FI with SD integration. FI SD integration we are going to see here. If you integrate FI with SD, then only you will be able to see this cycle. Okay, sale order, delivery, billing and customer payment. Okay. Fine? Yeah. Now, asset accounting. Asset accounting in SAP deals with only fixed assets. Only 
fix assets it also it talks about only fixed assets okay now in fixed assets what do you what do you do how to purchase an fixed asset how to capitalize that how you are going to use that how you are going to depreciate that how you are going to transfer it how you are going to retire it okay this kind of activities you are going to see in the asset account fine okay now this is what the fi this is what the fi in simple i have given this is high level okay i did not tag you any what is it is just a uh, high level not okay we'll see in detail when we come to classes now i will talk about the co controlling part co stands for controlling yeah people also call it as a costing okay CO controlling is required or CO implementation is required in order to make the internal management reporting internal management report internal management report this is what the basic object of FI implement uh, CO implementation if you are implementing CO it means that business is looking for some kind of some report. kind of managerial reports managerial yeah. reports the reports will make or the reports will help them in taking certain business decisions whether to reduce the cost of the product or to increase the efficiency of the business or product or production right or sales whatever it is okay here we are going to see the cost element accounting cost sub models i am talking about the sub models cost element accounting cost center accounting internal order profit center accounting profitability analysis product trust okay these are the sub modules of co now we will talk about cost element accounting cost element accounting cocc cocea now cost elements are nothing but the similar to gl accounts we have gl accounts without gl accounts you cannot update any record or any account or any report right you cannot get your own salary isn't it the same way the same way in co if you don't have any cost element you will not be able to generate any kind of report any kind of costing report so cost elements are similar to gl account if you have rent account in fi side the same rent account will be created as a cost element in co side if you have material account in fi side the same material account will be created as a co in controller so will be created as a cost element in controller okay but there are some ex exceptions which will not be created as a cost element. Okay, we'll see that kind of will be no tax provision accounts under will not be considered, and sometimes depreciation accounts also will not be considered based on business sector under. Okay, certain exceptions are there, but as of now, what we can understand that all FIGL accounts will be treated as a cost elements, and this will be created as a cost elements in control. Okay. If you have hundred GL accounts, assume that hundred GL accounts will be treated as a cost elements in zero. Then only. The information what are we post in your side will be flowing to the CO side as well. Getting me or not? Yeah. Okay. Now that's what we are going to see in the customer in the morning. We are going to see how to create the customers and how to go, how to use them to in order to update the records under. We are going to see in the customer. Sorry, customer in the morning. Okay. Now okay. we will talk about the cost center account. We will talk about the cost center account. Cost center general definition is. Cost center is a place where you can see the cost element. Where you can see the cost element. Suppose you are a manager of let's say finance department and you wanted to know what is the cost incurred for the month of November. So how you are going to achieve that objective or how you are going to achieve that business business requirement in SAP? In SAP, we will be creating each department or a function as a each department or a function we will be creating as a cost center. Whatever cost is relevant to that cost center, whenever we post any accounting entry, we will be giving the respective cost center over there. So each entry will be having 
respect to cost center so that the cost will be flowing to the cost center. We can see the cost at any time. We can run the report at any time. It will be giving the what is the cost in blood so far as of today, as of today, as of today, or for a particular period of time. This reports you can able to see at cost center level. I repeat, cost center is a place where you can see the cost level. Now, in SAP, the basis for creation of cost centers is you will be creating cost center based on functions or departments. Based on functions or departments. Okay? Okay. Now, at cost center level, you can plan the values for different kinds of expenses. You can cost for different kinds of cost, you can plan the values. At the month end, you will be getting the actuals and you can also see the variance. If one of my expense or one of my cost is having abnormal variance. So definitely as a manager I will be looking into that and I will be requesting concerned team or concerned people to give the detail of that particular cost component, right? Yep. Okay. So in that way you are going to find out the linkages and you are going to take precautions or take the proper steps in order to arrest them in the future. So that's how it is going to help the business so that the, the cost would be minimized, right? Yeah. Now, you are clear, right? Cost and recording? Yeah. Now, internal order, internal order. Internal order, if you wanted, if you want to track specific activity cost, how you are going to track it? Let us assume you are a sales, sales manager and you wanted to track the cost of trade phase that are conducting your sales team. That is the sales team is conducting trade phase at different locations and you wanted to capture each location wise cost. At, at cost center level, you can see, assume that cost center has been created for sales department, but you can see cost at cost, sales, sales cost center level, but you cannot see the activity level wise, right? Yeah. Are you getting me? What I am trying to say is, assume that you already created sales department as a cost center. Now, yeah. there is no doubt about it, you will be getting the cost on a per, for a particular month. If you want to see the cost for a particular month, you will be able to see it. But if you wanted to see a particular activity cost, then you will not be able to track that with the help of cost center. So, Right. To do that one, we have internal order in SL. So if I wanted to see my trade fair, trade fair that has been conducted in Hyderabad last month, if I wanted to track the cost, so what I am going to do, I will be creating Hyderabad internal Hyderabad trade fair as an internal order, Hyderabad trade fair as an internal order, and I am going to use internal order to track the expenses. To track that expenses. Later on, what, what I will do? Later on, what I will do? I will be moving this internal order cost to the sales cost center because ultimately the cost should go to the sales cost center, right? So what I will do to understand what is the cost? What is the cost incurring by the trade phase center? To understand that one, I will monitor. I will verify all the expenses, all the cost, and I will see the whether any sales increase increase there or not. If everything goes fine, I'll just keep it, I will keep a monitor or I'll just monitor it for a month or two and I will decide, I will come to a conclusion, yes, trade fairs are giving some sales improvement so that we can continue in future as well. So this kind of patience you will be able to take it only when you have data, right? In order to track the activity cost, we will be creating internal orders in SFP. Am I clear? Uh, yes, yes, you are right. No. We will talk about the profit center of one. Profit center of one. Okay. Now, general definition is for profit center, profit center is a place where you can see the cost and revenue. Cost and revenue. Both the things you will be able to see at this point of, at this place. Now, assume that you have different products. You have product A, B, C. Now, you wanted to see A, profit and you wanted to see B profit and you wanted to see the C profit. So in such cases what you do, you will be creating products as a profit center and you will be getting the values, cost values at 
product level. The winners also will be getting a product level, and you will be able to see the margin. Okay. Now, to create profit centers in SAP, there should be some basis, right? Either you can create product as a profit center, product line can be a profit center, or geographical location can be a profit center. Mm -hmm. Clear? Yeah, yeah. No. We'll talk about profitability analysis. Profitability analysis. We assume that we have three products, right? A, B, C. Now, assume that for A, A product you got thousand rupees profit, B product two thousand, C product three thousand. Now we are going to analyze. Let us take the A. You wanted to analyze how this thousand rupees profit has come. Mm -hmm. Now. What is my intention is I wanted to identify in which segment I am big or in which segment my sales are very less. I wanted to check that one as a manager. Now what I will do is now what I will do is I will be creating my own reporting structure. In profitability analysis, it is more about the reports only. You can say you can create your own format kind of reports and you can generate the data and you can analyze it. Okay, now yeah. it's more into more of reports where you can see. Let us say I have customers A and B. I have customers. Let us say X Y Z three customers. Customer types I have, and let us say three locations. Let us say three locations. I have one in Bombay. These are the three locations. If I want to see for A product alone, what is my profit or sales? Sales profit or sales? Whatever it is, you take profit. What is my profit at product A, Hyderabad location, and customer yeah. X? What is my profit, Hyderabad, uh, Hyderabad location, customer Y? What is my profit, Hyderabad location, customer J? So this is multi-dimensional report. It's like you know pivot table. You can just drag it and drop it, and you just see the report and you just analyze the report. We know by what table, right? In an Excel under. Whatever field you wanted to analyze, you will just drag them in the report, and you will see the data, how it is, and you will take certain decision on that, right? It is also similar kind of. As a conclusion now, for profitable analysis, I would say that it is more of reporting. You will be creating different kinds of reports in order to analyze the results. Results. Results means it's already arrived. You are so going to see the arrival figure. Yes, arrival. Okay. Can I ask a question? You know, when, when we obviously, uh, when we are learning this uh, application model, SAP FICO, how mm -hmm. all these concepts which you have just uh, explained to me, like uh, mm -hmm. this cost center accounting. Uh, mm -hmm. Profit center accounting or profitable uh, profitability analysis and okay. product costing. How you do you uh, define these in Oracle application or they are already there? I mean, how you interact with these concepts in? Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I understood your question. Okay, now SAP company what they did is they readily uh, I put it in there. They already developed software for different kinds of industries. Mm -hmm. It is all about it is all about ready-made. How you go to a ready-made showroom and how you take the product. No? Let us say short of time. It's already ready-made. They built it. It's already there. Suppose you are a manufacturing industry. They have already template for manufacturing industry. Mm -hmm. They created or they defined it by taking old as a Throughout the world, they consider the world actually. It's not for a specific for Indian companies or a specific for abroad companies and all. But still, they do that. They have done that. Still, they have done that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, what I'm trying to say is, they already developed software for different kinds of industry, let us say manufacturing, retail, banking, oil, automobile. They have templates. If you want to go. For implementation, go in, if you want to go for implementation for your business, let us say you are in the manufacturing. What they do is they just give you the template. They just give you the template. SAP company will be giving you the template. 
and you are going to copy that not you actually technical people will be copying that and as a consultant what we are going to do we are going to do the modification according to your business process mm -hmm. it's a standard business process they are giving but it suits it must suit your business right so there will be some what is it somewhere it is tight and somewhere it is not uh, fitting at all so you are going to do the modification it's already so, yeah, uh, in the system okay yeah uh, uh, so, what is your uh, when obviously th this demo is about? Uh, are you are telling me that this not uh, this uh, this demo or you know the further training will be basically based upon uh, how to do the how to do the mod modification or customization of yes. SAP yes, FIS exactly. or All right. Yes. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Do you mind if you show me at least one example uh, yeah. for See, uh, that how you do it, uh, how you do this modification in SAP? Can yes, you do that? Exactly. Yes, yes, I am doing it. Now. Okay, please oh. see this my see SAP screen. Okay. Uh, hold on. I am somewhere in the SAP yeah, application. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 I will be telling this part later where I am under. Okay. Right now. See here. Enterprise structure I am going. Enterprise structure I am going. Let us say so this is this is uh, this is SAP application now. Yes, this is SAP application. Oh, right. Is it SAP? What is this? Is it a uh, business one? Because I do, I heard that there's a application. No, no, no. Business one is uh, meant for a very small organizations. That too, there also you need to do the modifications and all. It's not business one. It's a common actual. Right. Okay. What is the version of this? This is ECC 6.0. Just go to system and see the status. Yeah. EHP 4 it is. Let's see here. You can see here. EHP 4. Uh, EHP 4. For SAP e ERP 6.6. Okay. Yes. This is what. What is uh, SAP R3? Yes, yes. See, that kind of I'll be, maybe, uh, okay, you know, you know, since you asked me, you know, I'll be explaining that. Okay, R3. Mm -hmm. Three type architecture. We call it as a three type. Aha, I see. Okay. What do you mean by three player architecture? We eh? will be having presentation layer, application layer. Database layer. Okay. okay. Presentation layer is this screen. This is a notepad, right? I am writing on a type uh, notepad, right? This notepad yeah. is a presentation layer. Right, right. Application layer, the place where coding has been written. Mm -hmm. Database layer, where the data is going to be stored. Yeah. Okay. That's right. okay. This is nothing but the archive. Right. Okay. Is it okay? Uh, see here, as in, please. Not a, mm. Go ahead. Go ahead. What, so R three is like a release three, or no? Not? It's not release actually. R refers to architecture. Arch uh, okay, architecture. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, now that's fine. Thank you. Yeah. See, as in that, as in that, you have let us say you are running a business, you own a company. Okay. Let us say the company name is. X, Y, Z. Okay. Yeah. Now, as a FICO consultant, I understood your company name is X, Y, Z. So, that X, Y, Z company name must be available in the system, right? Mm -hmm. So, when SAP company gives you a template, name center will not be there, report center will not be there, nothing will not will, will be there. But, the facility will be there to create all these things according to your business requirement. See here, I am going to create let us say your company is XYZ, I am going to create your company. I am just showing one thing, okay? No, no, that's fine. Yeah. You are going to, your company, assume that your company is XYZ. So, XYZ company. In a every report, this, this name has to come, right? Country, currency, INR, English, okay? Press enter. And you will be having details button. If you click on that one, you will be giving more in detail. Okay, company 
x okay. y z component. This is also description. This is also description stage. Let us say. Tell me some place. Uh. That's boring. Yeah. <laughs> मुजफ्फरनगर मुजफ्फरनगर यूपी इंडिया फ्रॉम मुजफ्फरनगर या यूपी मुजफ्फरनगर नियर नियर डेली Just hold on for a second. Some no, 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 no. Hello. Yes. Okay. Yeah. See, I just given what are the information. See, there also so many information. Uh, you have to fill all these information according to your company requirement. Okay. You will be giving me all these details, and you are going to press enter, press enter, and the data will be stored in this application. Yes, I will press. X Y Z company customization. Okay, I'm just trying to show you. Okay. Yeah. Now, going forward, going forward, in all the reports, you will be able to see this company report. If I don't define it here, you will not be getting it because SAP has given a template. You have to mold it or you have to customize that template according to your business processes, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. So, in other words, you can say that you have. Clock available for you. You wanted to go for uh, let's say shirt and pant. There is a clock, and you are going to stitch it, stitch it according to your fitting fittings, right? So that's what we are going to do. SMP template is nothing but the a plain clock, and you are going to design it according to your structure. That's what we are going to do next. Clear? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Now. And final one is final one is product costing. Product costing deals with the cost sheet. How you are going to see the cost sheet? In cost sheet, normal what you are going to see, you will be seeing the cost of goods manufactured, cost of goods sold. You will be putting your margin over there, and you will be getting the sale price of the product, right? Unit okay. cost. It's not in detail. In classes, say at the end of the classes, what what you can expect from me, you will be able to configure the system for any kind of business process. If someone is asking you how to uh, configure the system for, let us say, incoming payment, customer payment, you will yeah. be able to do that. Oh.
take that long. Every day one hour, currently batch is going actually. If you wanted to join, the batch is available at night, uh, 10 o'clock. Uh, yeah. And one more batch is available in the morning, 9.30. Yeah. So two batches are currently going actually. If, uh, students are from abroad side, abroad. People are from, one is from uh, Singapore, Sweden, and US, yeah. and another two guys from India. So just check your timings and if you are comfortable with my teaching part and all, no, just uh, from my side I will be able to give you the training where you can be able to understand the concepts as well and you will be able, you will be, you will get the confidence to work as a FICO consultant. And uh, that's what I can. <coughs> no, that's fine. Uh, with regard to this, uh, do you prepare for uh, certification? Certification actually there are some criteria to uh, take up the test actually. If you met that criteria only you will be eligible for uh, taking up the test. So uh, it's see my classes will give you the knowledge for preparing this test. But meeting criteria and all you have to check with the SAP. Right. So uh, how you can uh, do the certification? I mean if you will your uh, this uh, Demo, uh, sorry, this training will be enough to pass the certification exam? Yes. My classes will be sufficient and you can also put your time in order to take up the, what is it? Uh, okay. Some time on the uh, test pattern, pattern you have to follow actually. At least uh, there will be some mock test available in the internet and all. You have to take up that one. And at least you have to spend some time for let's say 15 days or the Say again. What I'm trying to say is certification will be having separate kind of a structure, right? You have to spend some time on question and answers. Oh yes, sure. Oh, yeah, def definitely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, no, that's uh, obviously quite a lot of uh, not little bit of time, quite a lot of time, I guess. Yeah. So Even from the or somewhere, uh, people chatted about and started chatting that recently. I completed some training. Um, they are from UP or Delhi, I'm not sure. They what? Some of uh, few, uh, three more students have attended last training actually. In my last batch, uh, uh, there were three students from uh, Delhi side actually. They were from Delhi? From Delhi? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not in Delhi, I'm in uh, London, UK. Okay. But I am from my parents uh, from basically uh, from uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. But at the moment, I am at the moment in London. Okay. okay. Yeah. I thought you are in uh, UK actually. Uh, yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not. I don't live there. Uh, I might be coming there once I will. Uh, okay. Soon, so. so uh, Oh yes, yes. I will uh, definitely, you know, let the faculty know. And so, when uh, you are uh, running this course at the moment, or uh, it will be start from scratch. See, I don't have any issues. If you wanted to join from tomorrow onwards, I will be taking one or two classes uh, uh, okay. before to club with them. From then onwards, uh, currently I am in GL only. I am just taking uh, GL for them. Okay. okay. So, uh, two classes are required to keep you in that, uh, what, what do you say, in that batch. Mm -hmm. right. uh, no, so, just propose your timings. 
Yeah, the, the, the timing is another issue because uh, obviously I'm uh, at the moment I am. I don't no know. problem. Just to propose your timing so that I will ch check with my timings and uh, if I can able to know. Definitely, I will uh, see uh, according to the timings. Okay. Because I'm, that, uh, I will be keeping. No, no, I am up. That Monday to Friday, I am working. Okay. You see, that's the problem. But I will find, to, you know, hopefully I will be able to talk something out. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Just check with your timing so that you uh, find some time and uh, yeah. to complete this. Yes, that's right. Super. You can okay. talk about the fee structure and the server details, other things with the instructor people. From my side, I will be only taking the classes. Sometimes I provide the documentation part as well. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, no problem. I will speak to them. Thank you, sir. Sorry that's for the fine. delay. Okay, it was a mistake. It's not a mistake. Actually, I was facing some technical issues here. No, that's fine, Ganesh. Thank you very much. It was very useful and very uh, and this easy to understand. The only problem I also face is the uh, quality of uh, sound is not too good. But I guess it's something to do with my either headphone or something or something like that. No, uh, even from my side also. Since yesterday there was some connectivity issues with the uh, Tata Fortan actually. So okay. probably this won't be available uh, from tomorrow or not. Far from that, uh, for Yeah, thank you, sir. In the meantime, uh, just before you go, can you give me any online resource so that I can at least, uh, you know, do some homework kind of thing? For uh, with regards to certification or what? Or no, no, you no, wanted to take? Uh, hmm? No, no, no certification. This uh, uh, SAP FIC or any online resource which is good one. Although there are a lot of uh, stuff on online, but yeah, yeah, just go go to YouTube and type, you know, just what are the concepts I covered here, no? G L A P A L. You just type over there, SAP, put SAP, FSCO, uh, FSCO, then it will be coming. Yeah, okay. okay. YouTube, okay? Oh, that's a YouTube, okay. Okay, that's fine. Fine, okay. I'll be moving to another class, actually. Thank you, sir. Thanks for the time. Thank you very much. Have, Have a nice evening. Happy weekend. Bye. Cheers. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yes, hello. Uh, hi, sir. Yes, uh, uh, yeah, hi. Uh, yeah, so how's the demo? Yeah, it was brilliant. Uh, not bad. But uh, obviously, it's a uh, completely new technology, so I have to think about uh, which one I should go for, like Oracle or SAP. Okay. I need some information uh, with regard to. Regarding? Sorry? Regarding, I mean, you want some information, something to say? Yes, I mean, like, uh, because I'm already doing Oracle Financial, but I've got some, uh, a lot of training I've already done on Oracle Financial, so I was thinking to carry on with Oracle Financial, okay. rather than SAP, FIC, because that's another, but uh, completely. So you feel Oracle Financial is better than FICO, right? Hello? Yeah, I mean, I think it's, uh, if I continue with Oracle Financial, that will be more... Uh, uh, Sayed, I'm not able to hear you here properly. Uh, I'll call you uh, from number, okay? Okay, okay, I think that's better, yeah. yeah thank you. No problem.